thorough workout tonight. Big test for everyone. Yeah, it was. I think um, I think we saw in that, that in the possession. I think um, I think in one period they had seven sets in a row on our line, and again in the second half, I just think the penalties I think were in their favour, and yeah, we just put some pressure on ourselves, and and we had to stand tough there for for longer periods than what we would have liked, uh, especially also their short kicking, some repeat sets. So. Um, yeah, difficult night. Uh, well, I think the boys grew during the game, which was nice. Are you confident the call will go your way at the death there? Oh, yeah, I was pretty confident about that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, um, yeah it, it was a clear knock-on. The defensive efforts of the, the team this, this year have just been incredible. Have you, do you ever stopped marvelling at how well they're doing? Uh, yeah, they're, I think I've said it a few times, it's easy to to talk about the, the, the way they keep investing every week in the defence and they keep working hard for each other and and also um, you know coming up with some really good reads on some uh, world class players out there tonight is uh, it's a credit to them. Mitchell Pearce has always had a always has his knockers from time to time but those two great cut out passes for those tries today. Uh, he's a beautiful ball player in the line. He, uh, when he goes to the line and he plays he, he picks the right man often and uh, it's a really, it's a, it's a present a lot of the time. Mitch Orbison run, runs a great line there for us to win the game, but it's really classy cut pass, and the way that he plays right in the line there is, uh, is, uh, yeah, is one of the best in the game in the line. From that performance tonight, do you think uh, Laurie might have a clearer idea on whether to bring uh, James in or to Origin? Uh, I'm not sure. I think obviously Sutton uh, saw bits of last night, and he's been playing outstanding footy and. Um, Todd Carney, Todd Carney's the incumbent, um, and Jimmy played also uh, quite a great game tonight, so it's a good choice to have. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, Jimmy keeps keeps playing that that style of footy and keeps putting his foot forward for it. Sonny Bill hasn't been nearly as involved the last couple of weeks. Is that deliberate, or is it just the way the game's going? He's been involved <laughs> in the important parts of the game. He's been involved. He. Uh, He's, uh, he's been a class act. I thought uh, he was close to our best player last week in that game. Um, if you want to sort of see a, a player work in attack and defence and off the ball when the ball moves away from what they're doing when the ball's 20 metres, 30 metres away from them, that's a great game to watch how a back rower should play last week and, and again tonight. The aggression that you got out of Luke O'Donnell tonight, was that uh, planned or was that just something he discovered? <laughs> oh, it's, you know, when you play, come up against the old club, it's always, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll have an experience, but... <laughs> <laughs> what was Nor do you want it. No, <laughs> that's right. But um, I suppose, yeah, you're, you're focused on, on having a good game. So, and, and he was definitely focused. He led from the front, I thought. Mm. Anthony, uh, before um, Origin, when blokes is coming up, I suppose you can go one or two ways. You can either be a bit spooked by the whole thing and feel the pressure, or you can go to another level. Do you feel Mitchell's sort of doing the, the latter? You know, he's performed, he's drew the last pass for both tries tonight. Yeah, he's, you know, he, he, uh, he handles pressure uh, very well, PC. Um, you know, the, the bigger the game, the better he plays. So, um, you know, he's, he's getting better week by week. Uh, his combination with Jimmy, he's, he's getting better as well. So, um, yeah, no, he's. Definite halfback in, in my books. They said Inglis last night was sort of a bad sign for New South Wales. Do you think Mitch tonight was a, a good sign? <laughs> I yeah. think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have you noticed? Anything in Mitchell's game uh, over the first 10 rounds? Has there been any pattern of improvement in different areas or anything? Um, yeah, like a lot of our team, his, our growth's been on the back of Mitchell and, and James's growth together. and uh, really clear about the way that he's playing and um, he knows what his strengths are and he's working hard with the coaches on that and um, I think he's uh, understanding I'm hoping a good style of footy that that keeps you in most games uh, and he's he's the one that's pushing us around the park so I think his development within a hope which is hopefully a tough style of footy which we're trying to develop is is benefiting his game Definitely, I think they've had a hard um, start to the year. I think they finish eight from twelve. I think 
um, record shows over the last couple of years, and we were conscious of that tonight. The teams don't come up here and uh, and just play a good game of footy and win. You you got to play really a, a great game of footy against the Cowboys. So them finishing with eight from twelve, um, with JT Bowen, uh, Scott Tamu, and then a lot of great guys that have got a lot of experience around them. Um, we went toe to toe tonight, and I think we're we're sitting well in the competition. It's no discredit to what the North Queensland have done tonight, so I think they'll grow as well as during the season. Thanks. Thanks.